Hi everyone! Today I wanted to uh, do my March wrap-up. So here are the books that I've read in March. So let's get going. Um, so the first couple ones I wanted to do were the ones I got in, um, in uh, book subscriptions. So the first one is uh, Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levensetter. I got this in the March Alcrate. I really enjoyed it. It was a fun read. It's the story of uh, the daughter of the Pirate King, uh, Alosha, and she willingly lets herself get captured on a ship uh, so that she can find out information about a lost treasure map. And so she thinks she can do this mission, but she doesn't, uh, she's not prepared for the first mate of the ship, uh, Raiden. So uh, through all that, um, uh, she's trying to get information about the, the pirate uh, map, um, but also trying to uh, figure out uh, what to do with these people who uh, who captured her. Uh, the one I, I really liked the book, and there's like, pictures of the of the ship. Um, most of the Alcrate books come with a signed book plate, so I really like that it's signed. Um, so yeah, so this one was a, a pretty enjoyable read. Uh, I believe there's going to be a part two of it coming out um, in the next year, probably. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to read the second part. Um, but yeah, so it's this is basically the first step in her journey to find out about uh, this mysterious map. Uh, so if you like uh, pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean, or uh, stories about mermaids, uh, You'll like this one. So this is a this is a good one. Uh, the next one is from the February Uppercase, and uh, it's By Your Side by Casey West. And uh, this is the story of a girl named Autumn, and she gets stuck in a, a library in the library uh, with the uh, not so. Uh, kind of a shady character of Dax who goes to her school so uh, they have to spend a weekend uh, in, locked up in the library they get to know each other uh, it's one of those fluffy fun romances uh, that I enjoyed um, uh, so yeah so uh, uh, Casey West by your side again I really like that Echo Case has uh, signed books uh, so that was good. Uh, so the, yeah, the first half is about them uh, in the library, and then the second half of the book is kind of like what happens after they get out of the library. Um, uh, you know, they become friends, more than friends. So yeah, that was one of those uh, fun spring uh, fluffy uh, romances to read. So there is uh, By Your Side. Uh, the next one, uh, Caraval. I believe it was in the February All Crate uh, that I got. It's by Stephanie Garber. Uh, I really love the cover, I have to say. And um, as with a lot of All Crate books, they try to do a signed book plate. Uh, this is the story of Scarlet and um, her sister uh, Tella. And for the longest time, Scarlet has wanted to go to this mysterious circus, Caraval. And uh, finally, on the eve of her wedding, she gets an invitation to go. And uh, her sister gets kidnapped at the, at the beginning of the Caraval, the circus, the game. And she is warned that not, not everything is as it seems. Um, uh, in this in this uh, land, and um, she ha she teams up with a sailor, uh, Julian, and they try to find her uh, sister. And I believe this there's a part two. I know that she's uh, Stephanie Garber is writing. Uh, the fun thing is there was a uh, talk on uh, Twitter. And I got to speak to her, to the author for a little bit, so that was uh, fun. Um, uh, she talked about how some some of the characters from other books that she liked. Uh, she talked about how 
her uh, her childhood in like Disneyland kind of inspired her to start uh, writing uh, some some of this stuff. So this one was a fun one. I think I I'm hoping it's a duology because it'd be really fun to have like the two sisters so two books. Uh, so yeah, this one was a good one. Uh, so here are some of the books that were not in uh, uh, book subscription boxes. So the first one was uh, Lewis Carroll's Alice Adventures in Wonderland. I had read this a long time ago, and I kind of wanted to read it again. Uh, I'm kind of getting in that phase of starting to read classics again, um, just because it's been years and years and years and years that I haven't read them. So I started with Alice in Wonderland. It's... Uh, magical book. It's a children's book where this girl goes into uh, the magical land of Wonderland, um, meets the Queen of Hearts, the White Rabbit, and uh, what's kind of fun is that a lot of these uh, characters are now in just our uh, vernacular. Just like, oh, they're going down the, you know, down the rabbit hole. Um, you know, just little things like that um, you know, come from this book. So, that one was a this is a fun read, even though I read it a while ago. Uh, the next one is uh, The One by Kira Cass. This is the third book in the selection series. So this actually is the last book in the first little section of the series. Um, the next book, so the next book is not coming out in paperback for a little bit, so you might see the next few books a little later in the year. Um, but this is uh, the conclusion of uh, America's uh, kind of selection. It's kind of bachelor meets royalty. And um, there's like a few girls left. And this is where uh, Prince Maxon chooses you know, who he wants to marry. So it, it was, it was a, it's, it's a nice romance read. Um, there was a lot of politics uh, a little bit more in the last couple books, so uh, more in this one, of just how much does she get involved, should she keep her mouth quiet about some stuff, uh, things like that. The next two books in the series, um, I have one of them, but the next one's not coming out here back for a while, um, is about their daughter, and it's kind of like The Bachelorette now. So, uh, I kind of want to see the spin on that, uh, since uh, I do like The Bachelorette, Bachelor, and all that, and royalty. So, uh, these are fun, uh, easy reads. So, I really like that one. Uh, the next one is one that I was given, um, A Glimpse of Eternity, uh, One Man's Story of Life Beyond Death by Anne McCormick. I usually don't read books like this. Uh, it's uh, it, it's a true story and of uh, this uh, guy's uh, a journey from being his um, his mom used to tell him a lot you know just about her faith and he never really em embraced that or wanted to look into it until um, a an experience that he had uh, and he got to see a glimpse of uh, just uh, heaven and hell and uh, what uh, his, his thought process through all that was. It's a, very sh it's, it's a very short book. It's less than 100 pages. I read it, I think, in an hour. Um, but if you're interested in that or if you, or you're one who has questions about that, or uh, just curious to see uh, this man's journey. Uh, it's a, it was very it was a very uh, a gripping read. It has uh, it has pictures, uh, but as you can see, it has a uh, some fairly uh, uh, thick writing. Uh, there's a picture of uh, the box jellyfish, and uh, he was stung multiple times by this uh, very poisonous, very poisonous uh, jellyfish in, I believe, Australia. And uh, through that, that's where uh, people were saying that he should not have survived all those uh, stings. Um, what I personally liked was that there was a lot of um, 
just back up to what he was saying, um, and uh, it made it even more intriguing. So there's that one. Uh, the next book I read, uh, uh, Beauty and the Beast, The Lost in a Good Book by Jennifer Donnelly. Uh, this book I had to read before uh, the Beauty and the Beast movie came out because I've been on a Beauty and the Beast kick. And it was a, re it was a really cute story. Um, it was definitely a tie-in to the movie where some of the same uh, phrases and stuff were said. Um, I am glad I bought it in just this cover is so pretty. I really liked it. And uh, it's to Belle she, when she's in the Beast's house and she finds this magical book that pulls her into the stories. And then she uh, needs to decide, you know, does she want to live in this perfect fantasy land or go back to uh, reality in uh, the Beast's castle? So um, uh, that was that. Uh, her, her, her magical journey in that book. So uh, that one. Uh, the last book I read uh, was I Finally Finished Winter. So I was very excited to uh, read it and to finish it. It was a good conclusion to uh, the whole Lunar Chronicle series. Um, I am very glad I read these and she was she's quickly one of my favorite authors, uh, Marissa Mayer. And um, this is kind of a retelling of uh, Snow White. So we have the evil queen, um, Lavana, and her stepdaughter was, was Winter. And the whole, uh, it get, I, I just love how she weaves in like sci-fi and all that. Um, so and like the people on this planet just love Winter. And um, from there, you know, she takes it and weaves, weaves the story. Um, it was a very good conclusion to the series. So if you have not read this series um, and you like uh, fairy tale retellings, um, ro romances, uh, uh, sci-fi, uh, fairy tale retellings, they're, they're very good. So Winter by Marissa Mayer. So uh, those were all the books that I read uh, in March. I believe they were about eight of eight books. Uh, I was very happy of how many books I read. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And uh, which were some of the books that you read uh, this past month? Uh, let me know. And I am uh, very excited to uh, uh, start reading some more uh, in the next couple weeks. I believe I have, I started uh, the second book of the Illuminae files. And I really want to see how that turns out. So yeah, let me know what books you read in March and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.